Hi, I'm Dr. Sean Allen. I'm uh, with a, a consulting group, uh, Homunculus Group, H-O-M-U-N-C-U-L-U-S group.com. I also uh, work with uh, two gentlemen, Chris Corfist and Dan Fichter at wannagetfast.com. That's W-A-N-N-A-G-E-T-F-A-S-T.com. And with my partner, Dr. Ivo Werlop out in Colorado, uh, we've devised some uh, videos here that we'd like to present to you. Uh, there's going to be several short clips. Um, some of them will be based off of uh, our textbook, uh, Pedagraphs and uh, Gait Analysis. Uh, we're going to go over some of the basic foot types today and uh, uh, some of the forefoot and rear foot pathologies. And uh, these are going to be clips on uh, here on YouTube, but also uh, will complement our podcasts on our website and some of the forum uh, uh, casts on wannagetfast.com. We've got some videos that are available, DVDs on wannagetfast.com. And we've also got some uh, continuing education on uh, chirocredit.com uh, uh, and uh, onlinecme.com. You can take some of the courses related to this material and get credit if you're a physician, a therapist, uh, and uh, if you're a trainer, personal trainer, just looking to become better at what you do, uh, these are the videos you want to see. So we're going to start in on the first uh, very basic one here. It's going to be a mapping of a pedograph. Um, we're going to come over here to the table and, uh, and look at a device called a... Uh, uh, it's basically just a pedograph uh, map or device. And uh, so this book that Dr. Ivo Werlop and I put together, Pedographs and Gait Analysis, uh, it's got some clinical cases in here. It's going to teach you how to use this device, but we're going to give you a rough overview here. Um, people don't look at the feet nearly enough, and uh, looking at the foot as it moves across the ground gives you a ton of information. As you watch our series of very brief foot type uh, demonstrations, you're going to see why some of your clients are having troubles getting into their glutes or having knee pain, foot pain. It's just another little piece of information that you can use. So this is called a Harris mat. Um, basically what it is, it's a rubber mat uh, on one side that's flat. This is the side you're going to walk across. And then uh, on the other side is a, a, a set of grooves which you ink. You'll ink this down. You'll put some ink on here. You'll then take your foam felt roller and you'll roll a clock across here just to roll, evenly distribute the ink. And then you'll put this down on here and put that down. And the person will then walk across the, the mat and create an imprinting of the foot. And so if you were to have some varying pressures coming across here, you would see higher areas of ink in areas where there's more pressure. So what we'll do right now is I'll just demonstrate a quick uh, pedograph mapping. I will walk across this and just show you a typical pedograph and show you some of the information that you can obtain from this. Okay, so we've got our piece of paper in here and we've got the uh, Harris mat all inked up. What you're going to do is have your client stand maybe uh, one to two inches right behind the Harris mat. You're going to have them lift their foot and they're just basically going to step down and walk across. You do not want them to have a long start because they'll build up speed and you'll create some smudging on the Harris mat and it'll give you some faulty information. So you want them just to, st to stand, put their foot down and just walk across and straight off. And when you're done, if you want to zoom in, you'll see that there are some areas of higher um, mapping. You'll see uh, increased ink or heat as we refer to it in our book over the, th the first big toe which is what you want. Uh, these toes are pushing down a little bit and gripping. There's a hot spot on the heel. This is a pretty benign and non-specific pedograph. What you'd like to see is a little more increased ink here as the foot pressures come across. You'd like to see a little bit high on the he outer heel where they hit first coming across the foot and across the first ray and off of the big toe. Okay. I've got a pretty non-pathologic foot, so you're not going to see a lot of abnormalities here, but we go through all of the various foot types in our book, and you can get an idea of uh, what each one of those foot pathologies looks like. You can relate the areas of increased ink to uh, where there's more callus formation almost, uh, and also help you determine what type of foot type your patient has or your, your athlete has uh, from the mapping. And then once you've determined which uh, foot type you have out of our book, then you can look at all of the clinical uh, symptoms, signs and symptoms uh, that are related to those up the kinetic chain. So it's really kind of a, a nice little uh, cookbook way of determining foot type into um, pathology.